Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today we are going to do an unboxing of Mountaineers, a 3D board game by Massive Games, not Massive Games, although I think this one would, uh, would surely qualify. It is a pretty, pretty big box. This one kickstarted, uh, uh, let's see, it funded in December of 2017 and just now arrived here in April. Of, 2000, <clears throat> of 2019. Long awaited. It is a solo friendly game. It is a uh, competitive, I believe, uh, multiplayer game. Uh, but it does have solo and it is it's 3D because the, as you'll see, the mountain is, uh, is the board is vertical. So, uh, and has multiple sides and all kinds of cool stuff. So, anyway, we're going to crack the shrink and take a look at what you get in Mountaineers. All right, so it is. So you got a 3D player board. We got 3D player board. You got the 3D mountain that uh, that folds up and can have either I believe three or four sizes sides based on the number of players. Uh, it says it's 30 to 120 minutes. One to four players is standard, and the deluxe and collector's edition, which this is the collector's edition, is one to six players. So let's see. Area control, asymmetric player abilities. So that's cool. Um, you have automated climbers, solo player mode, two player mode, companion web app, check that out, and changing game conditions. And you also get Mountaineer miniatures that are going to climb the mountain. I'm anxious to see what those look like. Hopefully I can do it justice. The artwork on the cover is really nice. I like it. I, I'm not a mountain climber. The closest that I've come to mountain climbing is uh, watching uh, Price is Right in the little game where the where the climber went up and you stopped him. Not my thing. All right. So we start out with some bubble wrap. Bonus bubble wrap. All right. Nice of them to do that, though, instead of having everything slide around. Although there is literally nothing in here holding anything down. It's basically a box. There isn't, they didn't waste any money on an insert. So that's cool. Well, the first good thing is we've got the Mountaineer Guidebook, which is a little over oversized. It's not eight and a half by eleven. It's more like eight and a half by uh, I don't know thirteen or so. But they didn't do a full 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 size box book, which I hate. So this is good. Full color explains what all the uh, components are. It is 20 pages, full color. Looks like it's, I haven't read it, haven't, haven't heard about it. Uh, I know a little more about this one since I did back it. I've kind of been, been seeing what's, uh, a few things that have been said about it, but not, not uh, too terribly much because I wanted to understand it on my own. So. Obviously, you can't read the whole thing here, but one to two player setup, and I did see the solo mode rules in here. And for what I understand, solo has been was baked in from the very beginning, so it's not an afterthought. All right, so we have board, and this is going to be the base for the vertical pieces, and we'll I'll try to get one of those set up here to to show you. There we got a uh, three-sided board, and this is clearly the the four-sided board. Missed it on this other side; it wasn't punched out. So that's cool. So there's your base. Here are the board pieces. For not having an insert, it seems to be very well packed in terms of getting here. Um, but what you're going to do is, is as you go up the mountain, you're going to be following these different, different paths, uh, and you can go from one side to the other and around, and uh, perform different tasks, get points. Again, just from my rudimentary understanding of it. So you get, unless there's more, here are six board segments mountain segments. Yeah, what else we got here? Some activity board. 
side A, side B. It's very thick cardstock. It's not heavy, but it is decently thick. We have a dice, and we have rubber bands, some clear bands, and some uh, dials like on Fantasy Flight games for turning the uh, on for X Wing and stuff like that. So we'll see more about that. We got cards. Bunch of cards. We'll open those up in a minute. A Kickstarter exclusive backer cards in Italian. So hopefully there's an English one in there. Tutti e giocatori Cejano Supportato Questo Gioco su Kickstarter. And I'm sorry if you speak Italian and I just ruined your language. Whole bag of silica gel protecting two wooden pieces. And player pieces. I assume these have colors. We have green and they have um, numbers on the ends of them. They're wooden. So we have It looks like six colors, so I assume this is for the six players. Blue, the best color ever. <laughs> well, at least in games. So there's some pink. So we have pink, green, pink, green, yellow, orange, blue, and black. Because you'll be black and blue after you're climbing a mountain. All right, more silica gel. Some empty bags. Just kind of tossed in there. Oh, a lot of stuff in here. Goodness gracious. And then we got some markers. These also are thin wooden markers. I don't know what those are, but they're obviously in all the same player colors. And more silica gel, boy. They, they have this packed pretty darn good. I'll say that several times it would appear. Rolled in bubble wrap. This is going to appear to be our. Um, miniatures or climby guys and gals. So here are the four for the regular game and the two uh, Kickstarter six or deluxe edition not Kickstarter, the deluxe edition uh, six players. And we'll take a look at one of these here. So he's got this he's got this big thing coming out of their out of their uh, Fronted, which is obviously going to go into the holes on the uh, mountain board as they climb. So it's pretty cool visual effect. Have to maybe see about getting these guys painted. All right, so you get six miniatures. Gosh, a lot of stuff in here. I'm not even gonna recap this one. All right, these are card and component trays. And I'm going to take these off. These have special instructions on how to fold together and become a little tray to hold cards, you know, here and your components there. And these were a, uh, I believe, a deluxe edition bonus. They may have been a Kickstarter stretch goal. So you get a set of six of those. Some assembly required. So they kind of fold. We have a special video on how to put those together. And then we've got what look like to be player components. I'm only guessing that they're player because it looks like they got the same colors. There's the orange, green, and then you got obviously uh, point tokens, possibly. The game looked really fun, so I backed it. Thought it'd be a good game, like Ticket to Ride or something like that, to play with family. But also the fact that you could solo it. So there's six of these punch boards that have various player components and game components on them. All right, we've got another punch board. And these are obviously some sort of goals. Sorry. Seeing it for the first time, just like you guys are. But the artwork is very clear. Um, Obviously, you're going to have to read to find out what the different things mean. And there's the guide on the back of the rule book. Uh, okay, so earlier we had these two tokens. Now we know that those two colors are for the 
five to six player expansion and then we've got the the uh, tokens for the regular one to four players but again you can obviously be whatever color you want and then here yet another board some foam so this must be the base now oh, that's cool So what we got here is uh, some information about mountaineering. Um, it's kind of like one of the uh, boards you might see at a national park, giving you information. So that's the back of the board. So they didn't let it go to waste. That's kind of cool instead of just being plain. And now the other side here, obviously is gonna have something to do. It's probably your path. These paths lead up to the mountain, which was sit in the center. And I believe it pivots. I believe when you set the board up, ah, that's what the, uh, the little, uh, pivot, you know, the little wheel, uh, grommet was for is that you're going to put the main board, which I buried in this hole and uh, you put the grommet through it and then the board spins so when you build the mountain up the mountain will spin on the table like a lazy susan or a lazy steve or a lazy kevin any of those so that's pretty cool game friendly so everybody had to walk around the board and obviously there's a scoring track going around the edge which isn't always the most convenient thing but uh, that's cool knock the mountain over so the so the mountain pieces don't stay up they mount and then kind of lean together but the, the, the mountain base will attach to this, which begs the question of will it fold up when it's done? Can you store it? Let's see. So normally I like to recap everything as it goes back in the box, but there's just so much here. Um, I just started piling it together. I kind of want to look at some of the cards uh, that are in it. Um, again, not knowing really what they are. They are kind of curved here, or kind of bowed a little bit, so hopefully they'll straighten out once they've uh, come out of their shrink. So the cards are kind of thin. These are, I saw Park, I thought that was a, the, uh, I thought that was like an action, but Park is a character. So they are, um, they are both both of the genders, so we have Park, and on the other side we have Lucy. And I like that they didn't just rename them, so each character has uh, unique um, abilities, variable player powers or whatever, so you'll pick the character that's best for you. We have Sophia, kind of thin cards. Uh, Tensing, Edmund, Catherine, Chris and Cecile. So it looks like those are the uh, those are eight different characters you can choose from. There may be more in the well. There are more here in this other deck. There's Tony, Tony with an eye. That's a guy. So here's some automated climbers. So kind of like an automa without using the copyrighted automa name, of course. What they're going to do on the different turns. So you got AI cards. Let's call them that. Automatic Climber Tour Guide, Turn Guide, and then cards for the different boards, Glacier Maze, Mushroom Hunt, these are different missions or victory points you can get, Sasquatch Farm, so you can milk a Sasquatch, that'd be fun, Climbing Fatigue, Tour Guide, lots of different mission kind of cards, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here okay so we don't know what all those are um the artwork itself is pretty good i like it fits the theme and then this makes it very clear that it's the same as the artwork on the on the mountain sides and you can i believe pre-order it now if you've been a massive games go to their facebook page if you look in the notes in the video when you go down to subscribe to the video and click the alarm button to let you know when new videos are posted, which would be awesome. Thank you. Um, down the bottom, there'll be 
a place where you can go look. We can read more about the game as well. So the cards are kind of thin. If you're a sleever, you might want to sleeve them. I don't, I don't bother. Um, you know, looks like equipment cards here. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I can't wait to learn this one. It's going to be awesome. Climb from the bottom and place a marker in one highest alpine position on the entire mountain. So that's your mission, is to get up there and place that. It looks like you can't use a helicopter, and if you do, you'll get six points. So, hey, look at that. I'm in the game. No, I'm not. It's a common name. It's a great name, but it's a common name. So, who's on the other side? Is it Karen, which would have been my name if I'd been a girl? No, it's Junko. Some people think that's my name when they see my office. So, all right, cool. So I will try to get some, uh, a picture here. Try to set the board and let you see what that looks like standing up. Okay, so I've uh, done a little quick demo here of the board and set up. So those little pieces do go in here, allow the board to spin. Um, looks like it might have some trouble hitting some of the score things. You'll have to be a little careful. Looks like it barely just misses. So they've kind of thought through, but you know, you may hit something. But then this will come back right off for storage. It just pops out. So it goes up from the bottom and then you can push the pin in, but you know, it doesn't stay locked in. It just allows it to spin. And then these board pieces are double-sided. They're A and B, one through six, and so you'll randomly pick which ones you're gonna use. And then they have these little notches here, and that's what those rubber bands are for. So when you assemble your mountain, it's gonna fit together like this. So then once you've assembled it like that, then it's at the top. And then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna put this rubber band in those notches without messing up the board. And then once the rubber band is in there, then you get your mountain. This is a three-sided mountain. And again, you can do four around the square. And then the whole mountain will spin so you can access the different sides as you need to. All the way up and be a mountain here. So that was a look at the uh, the mountain board, the 3D mountain board as it stands, and uh, this is all the other stuff you're going to get in this game, uh, Mountaineers, by Massive Games. Let me put the cool box lid back on there. And there you go. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!